head to the Upper West Region now because supporters of the NDC there are also heading to the EC office in the region. They are protesting declaration of the results. Rafiq Salam joins us from WA Central. Hello, Rafiq. What's the story in WA? Um, the situation is now uh, calmer now than before. You know, they started the demonstration right at the NDC Regional Secretariat. They moved through all principal streets in the work Township before heading to the regional office of the Upper West REC. So when they got there, uh, the policemen were already there. They were already stationed there. They wouldn't allow them uh, to go beyond uh, the gate of the EC. Uh, but the leadership of these uh, demonstrators insisted that they would go in there and then uh, present their petition. So in the ensuing argument, so some supporters of the party started uh, burning ties, uh, burning all gases around the EC. And so the whole place was engulfed with, with smoke. Uh, but they were so chanting and also firing knockout right here uh, in the war municipality. And so uh, after that, they were given that opportunity because it, the Upper West Regional Commander of the Gary Police Service, DCOP, Pastor Abogia, also intervened and then allowed the leadership of the demonstrators to go in to be the regional director of the EC, Mr. Ali Osman Ademu. And so after, uh, it was there that the effort was went. Well. Mm. And uh, was the media allowed into that meeting? What exactly was discussed? There was. Hello? Hello, Rafiq. I'm asking if the media was allowed into that meeting between leadership of the protesters and the uh, regional EC uh, boss. Yeah, it was uh, actually uh, covered by the media. It wasn't a video of a sort, but it was a petition uh, that was the NDC wanted to present to the EC. Uh, the media were allowed, but you know, surprisingly, they didn't allow us to take our mic, our microphones, uh, into into this particular uh, meeting. Uh, mm -hmm. But we were able to capture whatever that transpired at that meeting. The NDC were demanding about five things. Uh, what key among them is the root correlation of the 2020 uh, polls? Uh, which of the which which of the uh, are we looking at parliamentary or presidential? We are talking about all all, all presidential votes should be recorrelated because the NDC. Uh, the petition that was read by uh, Mohamed Tandu uh, stated that they think that the NDC has won with clean hands uh, uh, the, the 2020 polls, and they think that John Dramani Muhammad should be declared the outright winner of this election. And so for them, I think that if this recollection is done, the NDC will be declared. <laughs> but as I speak to you now, the fire service has just arrived at the scene, first to dance on the fire, uh, because uh, uh, because all the gas, all the gas around the EC, uh, it's now gradual uh, uh, of the cups of, 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 of being there. So the fire service just came to the scene, trying to down the fire there. Mm. Rafik, uh, yesterday we received a, a release from the police asking that uh, persons who wanted to protest should inform the police uh, about their plans uh, so that the police could guide and also protect them in the process. Are you able to tell us if these protesters uh, notified the police in the region about this protest they embarked on this morning? Uh, I've not spoken to the police about whether they have been able to uh, notify them uh, to give them the permission to hit the street. Uh, but you see, uh, this particular demonstration, it was well guided by the police, well coordinated, because I can see the police pulling them from right from the start of the regional party secretary and after the EC. And I was to the police are still standing, including the regional commander of the Ghana police service here, GC, OP, Francis Abad, Chicago. He himself is right, uh, is right in front of the gate. And so I can, I can speak to them on some of these issues, whether they have been given permit or not, uh, before they embark on the streets. But uh, more, more fire standards are, are still coming in. I try to, I don't know if I can count as many as two. Uh, and then the side one is even on its way. Because the place, it's closer to the Ghana fire service. And they're trying to get out of the fire. Can you describe the fire to us? Hello? Yes, Rafiq, I'm asking you to describe the fire to us. Uh, it was heavy uh, in the beginning because uh, most of the gases there are not all that tall uh, right here. And, uh, and, uh, but, but you see, uh, the fire was sitting about a uh, about thousand flaming out eight hours uh, before the fire service are came in. So mm -hmm. they wouldn't have much to do uh, regarding uh, that was the fire. A apart from uh, the tires, I heard you say were set ablaze, what else has been torched? Oh, the only thing that, it was only the tires that were set ablaze and also the glasses that are, you know, we are in the dry season and the Hamasan has actually uh, set in. So most of these, uh, most of these glasses are already dry. And so any little touch, I will make it uh, to be on fire. And so uh, the situation somehow and report to you that is now uh, calmer than it was before. Thank
Thank you, Rafiq. Rafiq Salam joining us from the Upper West region where some NDC supporters have trooped to the EC office there. We understand they've presented a petition to the regional boss and they're demanding recollation of the presidential polls in that region. Earlier, we took you to Tamale in the northern region where NDC supporters are also protesting. We'll keep our eyes in the various regions as the party insists uh, an independent audit of the, this year's election uh, will put their hearts at ease. We'll let you know uh, as and when whatever happens in the region.